How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and actually today we have the very first episode of Ricer Cars for Sale for 2023. Oh boy, I could just smell that this year is going to have some real stinkers posted for sale. Just some real reekers like it's going to, oh god, who went doo-doo in their pants, you know? Now I was wondering... I kind of want to change the series to just looking at ruined cars, not necessarily just ricers. I don't know if, if that would be a more fitting title for the series. Ruined cars? Let me know what you guys think, or maybe we can name it something else. I feel like looking at ricers is getting kind of old. Comment down below, though. Anyways, we're going to look at some posts that you guys sent me. If you guys see any, send it to my Gmail, DrewPeacock.Clips at gmail.com. Let's stop wasting time and let's dive right in. All right, first car, 2006 Mustang GT. Oh, boy, this one hits a little too close to home. This is a premium coupe, and he's asking for $13,000, and this thing is smoking a cigar out of the rear. I don't know why you would convert a V8 into a single exit exhaust, but this guy did it, and he also, I guess, ran out of a, a saw blade. He didn't have enough teeth to chop this thing off. This is why I would kind of call it more of a ruined car, not necessarily a ricer. I mean, this thing is fucking butt ugly, but it's it's not really rice. Like, he just put, like, a questionable wide body kit on it. I was actually looking at this kit a long time ago, right when it first came out. And I'm really happy I didn't do it because, I like, look at it. Like, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like the kit, and I've seen it on cars when it's paint matched. It looks sick. I just don't like anything else he really did to the car. Like, look at the hood. Are those supposed to be window louvers, or is, are those heat extracting vents? Either way, it's dog shit. That just looks like an air brake, multiple air brakes on the front hood. It just looks stupid, if you ask me. I do like, like, the super wide stance and everything. I, I, I do like it. Like, I'm a sucker for thick cars. I'm a sucker for cake. But like everything else he did just just I, I i can't i can't rock with it i really can't like look at the damn exhaust tip look at that look at look at the, like it's not even an exhaust tip just look at the exhaust pipe i get he's going for that like out there japanese style but you kind of picked the wrong car for that chief he's only asking thirteen thousand dollars which in my opinion isn't the worst thing ever it's a great start i guess like this thing could be cleaned up pretty easily wrap it all one color get rid of the outlandish wing and uh, exhaust tip uh, even the wing is probably okay with this crazy body kit the wing actually isn't the worst thing ever honestly everything one color matching set of wheels and no stupid exhaust tip and this thing's golden oh and, and no hood and ski racks <laughs> come on man clearly trying too hard to look like the part this ain't it Anyways, it has a red interior, NRG uh, steering wheel, Hurst short throw shifter, Shiroki wide body, 326 power wing, blah, 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 blah. In my opinion, it's not riced, but I would classify it as ruined, but fixable. Definitely fixable. It's also apparently on some sort of airlift system, so yeah, that's a plus. Great foundation, poor execution. Next car. Horrible foundation, horrible execution. 1996 Honda CRX, 3,500 bucks. At least he's he's asking for a gaming PC, pretty much. I mean, like that's that's what he's pretty much asking for right here. Now, now this is somehow a Honda CRX. I know you guys might be thinking, Drew, that's a GTR. What do what what are you talking about, dude? Like, <laughs> what CRX? No, it's a CRX with a GTR front end and a Mark IV Super rear end, sort of like just like the headlights tail lights and that's it like if i was playing roblox i might think that's a gtr and if i was looking at a four-year-old's drawing i might think that that's a supra but it's not he also says it's 300z headlights which those are not 300z headlights i don't know if he's ever seen a 300z before but that ain't it chief that ain't it it's got a 12-piece wide body kit it's got super tail lights obviously a charger gas tank cover like this guy's just got a fucking frankenstein car like like literally like everything is just mix match b16 engine swap like, okay like you did something cool custom deck great and custom 12 inch box look at dude i don't want your boxes okay i, I don't need your your storage unit box in there just just you know if i'm looking for a car i want a car and that's it i don't want boxes this is the gtr for the kid at 16 that swears his first car is going to be an r35 i swear dude right when i get my license i'm going to get that r35 and a supra here you go best of both worlds scoop it up 3500 bucks well within that high schooler slash college budget also i think that's a toyota celica hood i could be wrong though this thing is a fucking freaking nature should not exist burn it to the ground next car oh god like, are people colorblind or what? Like, oh, I haven't even read the title yet, and my eyes already hurt. It's a 1991 Nissan GTR. Cool. Great. Awesome. R32. Sweet. GTR. Great. Awesome. 
Why? Okay, the purple I could live with. I could honestly live with like the purple and the chrome or polished wheels. I could live with that. What is with this cyan minty green color? Like, wh what is with that? Why? Why are we doing that? Why? Why is this still a thing? This is a 2019 trend right here for TikTok. Everybody was was making their car that mint color. At least all, all of like the TikTok little fucking females were doing that shit. And um, it, it, it never looked good. I never saw a minty colored car. Oh, that's, that's pretty clean right there. Although I wouldn't classify that as minty colored. But I, I mean, RB26 does look great in that minty color. However, I would not classify the rest of it as looking great. I would classify that as a fucking eyesore. Like, like some dude ran out of fucking paint. Good paint. And did that like it's also very convenient that he didn't show the fucking wrecked front end huh like very convenient like uh, I could see it's missing a front bumper there chief I'm not stupid where is it where's the rest of the car it's got a veil side wide body kit it's got work wheels a tome titanium exhaust downpipe charge pipe blah 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 the paint is called violet violent cotton candy unless he meant to say violet it's got a full airlift kit which isn't installed so I guess it doesn't and he's in no rush to sell. Look it, buddy. If you're in no rush to sell, finish piecing this piece of shit together and then post it. Might be some stuff I'm missing. Yeah, like the fucking front bumper. Come on. Where's the rest of the paint, too? Like, this has to be the worst color combination since red and yellow. I'll take a Ronald McDonald car any day. I do really like the purple, though. I am going to say that. I do really like the purple. And I wouldn't mind the minty or cyan blue engine cover or engine trim pieces, whatever you want to call it. If that was the only scion or mint color there was, the rest of this shit, like, why? Why? Fucking ruined it. Once again, not necessarily rice, but definitely ruined. Next car. It's a 2006 Chrysler Sebring convertible. I mean, the car was already ruined fresh off the lot. I mean, it is a Chrysler after all. But uh, the, um, if you want to if you want to fake it till you make it, you can buy this Bentley. Yeah, sick. European fiberglass body mounted on a Chrysler Sebring chassis. Comes with extra body and molds, new tires, needs minor body repairs, blah, blah, blah. I mean, for 5400 bucks to own a shoe looking Bentley. I mean, let, let's keep it real here. This thing kind of looks like a fucking slip on Vans. Something about that silhouette. It just, it, it does not look like a car. That looks like a fucking sandal. I don't know how to explain it other than junk. Also, this is the most crooked, cockeyed, fucking somebody gave this shit a left hook. I don't know what happened to this rear end, but that shit does not look straight to me. I hate when people do this shit too. Like, they make their car look super exotic and super high end, and then they choose the cheapest looking fucking wheels ever. Uh, that explains it. Anyways, I mean, like, look at the wheels. L look at those. You would see those on, like, an Escalade from the early 2000s. You would not see that on a wannabe bentley you know like th that doesn't scream high class at least go buy some like oem bmw or oem like mercedes wheels that like look the part not that not whatever the hell that is they're so disgusting oh my fucking god i mean what do i expect though it's a fucking fake bentley it's a pretty good pretty good one though like i will say the front end and everything it's all one color it all like kind of like looks doesn't look the part but like it, it all kind of goes together it's also funny because my brother's um first or second car second car was a chrysler sebring so i actually like me and him took this to work every day not this exact one obviously um but yeah we, we jesus christ stop looking at me um yeah we, we actually like took this shit we actually took one of these to work and like daily drove it every day so i'm very familiar with how shitty of a car this is it was very comfortable though i will say that it was just super cheap but yeah he never had the bright idea to turn it into a bentley however if he did that we would be millionaires by now so we would have mass produced these and just fucking boom gave gave every crackhead a fucking uh fake bentley i will say in this photo it is it is kind of deceiving can't ruin what was already ruined and somehow this shit sold jesus all right whatever you can only fool people stupider than you i guess moving on next car 1996 ford mustang for free yay and that's why holy shit yeah there's, there's a height limit you can't can't be too small short king's not for you you know you're gonna need a step stool to climb this thing it's got positive camber um you can see or at least this side does you probably smack the curb or something it's got a very cheap paint job you can tell because of all the overspray like they sprayed the grill back here that's pretty cheap i think i could see some in this back scoop right here i mean what do we expect i mean like we're, we're not sitting here looking at fucking uh shelby or a kona zag no we're looking at a 1996 ford mustang uh that's been donkasized i'm creating that word 
Donkazized. Donkazized? Donkazized? Donk Donkinated? Comment down below which one would you prefer? Donkinated or Donkazized? Donk I don't fucking know. Anyways, it's on the 30s. Christ, man. As is, run strong with pipes. I don't know what the fuck that means. I already know what I want, but I will entertain offers, winky face, aka offer me a blowjob and a Starbucks and uh, you got a deal. He already knows what he wants, but he'll entertain your offer. This thing looks annoying to drive, like it is pointed up to the fucking Lord Almighty himself. As I always say with Dongso, very easy to change oils, no excuses for late oil changes. I wonder what the MPG on this thing is, dude. It's got to be fucking so bad. Oh my god, poor car, poor car. Anyways, moving on. 2015 Ford Mustang EcoBoost Premium Coupe Two Door. This one said it was fake up badge as a Roush, which I don't know if Roush does make a four banger. I wouldn't be surprised because for the S197 platform, they did make a six cylinder Roush, which only fucking idiots bought. So it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if they could sell a six banger Roush. They could probably sell a fucking four banger Roush, but who fucking knows? Um, I don't think it is though. Those don't look like Roush wheels. They just look too bland to be Roush wheels, but eh, whatever. Let, let's entertain the idea. Roush stage one turbo kit, Roush cold air intake, upgraded intercooler, Roush quad exhaust, dyno two. Okay, see, it, it. I think it is an actual Roush. This guy's saying that it was actually dyno tuned from Roush. Roush performance suspension, upgraded brakes, body kit is from Roush. Um, it might actually be, although that doesn't look like a Roush cold air intake. I will. I mean, unless I'm blind, unless it literally says Roush right there, it doesn't look like it to me. Could be wrong, though. On these S550s, it might be different. But yeah, um, so I kind of believe it. I kind of do believe it is a Roush because, like I said before, if they'd make a six-cylinder one, I don't doubt that they'd put their fucking name on a four-cylinder one and sell that shit to dumbasses either. He's asking 22000 which honestly, if it is a real Roush, that probably isn't a very bad price because I feel like you could buy a base 5.0 for that price. And this is like a upgraded Roush, so yeah, I believe it. Not bad. Whoever sent this to me, do your research. Would I buy this thing? God no, no, no. I have too many brain cells. I wouldn't buy this, but someone will. The last car, 2013 Scion Hatchback Coupe Two Door, 4,700 bucks. And I, I didn't know Scions made luxury exotic cars. Jesus Christ, man. Oh fuck, had a stunt on everyone. Look at the fake little vent back there too. Looking like a Mustang or something. Damn, that thing looks pretty damn aggressive, buddy. Pretty damn aggressive. I love it, though. You got, you love to see it. You love to see the Lambo doors on stock wheels. Nah, at least it's manual. I will say, these these TCs, like, they're pretty fun. Like, like they're kind of torquey. They, they are kind of like little little torque monsters. Like, they, they, they're, they're not the most boring car ever to drive. Once again, would I own one? God, no. Mm, no, mm, no. Too many brain cells, once again. But if you do have one, they're not the worst thing ever. This guy <laughs> chose just class A mods. I mean, we got the Lambo doors. We got fake vents. I mean, that's already like plus zero horsepower. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, at least he chose the sick. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and with the... Mm-hmm. And then, um, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, he's got the mud flaps. I forgot about those. He's got the mud flaps. So thank God he's got those. Or at least one of them. Does he only have one mud flap? Oh, he does. He only has one. Mm. Must have lost the other one in his last rally event. It makes sense. Makes sense. That's the only explanation that I could think of. Uh, yeah, that makes that makes total sense. It's not that he probably put it in with self-tappers or anything like that. It's probably, it's probably because of his last rally event. Um, it's got an aftermarket exhaust from Pseudo. Can't say I've ever heard of them. Guarantee I've heard their shitty exhaust though in person. I just didn't know it was a pseudo. Anyways, let's read a sick description. Wow, these are six speed. I didn't know that. 2013 Silent TC manual six speed. Um, currently registered 2023, four cylinders, 140,000 miles. Uh, two door, sunroof, AC, heater. Yeah, okay. Adjustable springs. Um, I think you meant coilovers or lowering springs. One or the other. You can't really adjust a spring, but whatever. Lamborghini doors. Sick. Asking 4700 You didn't mention the vent. Damn it, man. You, you forgot. You left that out. Left that out of your description. Plus 50 horsepower. Uh, he's just being humble. I get it. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to scare away people. You know, you want people to, you know, be like, "Hey, now this is this is a street car after all. This is a not a fully fledged race car, even though it does look like one. Even though it definitely does look like one." Yeah, shit's ruined. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. 
Uh. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Also, should we rename it to like ruined cars or should we just keep it as ricer cars? Comment down below. Uh, if you guys see any posts like this, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Hopefully the rain clears up in SoCal because I want to get out there and drive my cars and make some good content for you guys. So as soon as it does, I'll be outside. Anyways, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next video, peace.